From that seems. Like, I was saying that earlier. It's like it's like us. You yeah. know, here in in Texas, it's like a light switch. It's either drought or it's flooding. There's rarely something in between. So yeah, and it all comes down at once and doesn't soak in like it yeah. should. It just all runs off. It, and, there's always yeah. a problem to talk about, right? Like I said, it's easy to find complaints. It really is. But let's talk about this because I don't want to complain anymore, Jason. You know why? You don't. No, wow. my New Year's resolution was to be more positive. Wow, that's I did not, not know this. That's not true. No, that's, that's a lie. Uh, so here's <laughs> the atmospheric river, as everyone keeps uh, talking about, which essentially is just the jet stream carrying in a ton of moisture. Uh, and here's a storm system. So here's a storm system. These happen all the time. I know it looks very impressive, and it's really cool to look at on satellite and radar. There's the rain on the California coast up through Oregon and Washington. So an atmospheric river, all it is is you have these very warm Pacific waters. I mean, even there's Hawaii right there. This brings in a ton of moisture. All that moisture evaporates from the ocean, gets pulled into the jet stream, and then that pulls the moisture into the storm system and produces good amounts of rain for the West Coast. It's great to see it. Uh, they really need it. Now, I know too much at once can be problematic, but uh, it's but they desperately need moisture out west, so it's good to see that. So Dallas Baptist University, back home here, quiet, 61 degrees, sunny skies. So uh, Fort Worth at 59 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Uh, the high today, 59, which is just a few degrees warmer than the normal of 65. The low this morning was 37 degrees. The normal low is 36. And right now, DFW is at 58 degrees with a north wind 5 to 10. Pollen count, mountain cedar is high, fungus is low. Mountain cedar will be a problem today, tomorrow really the next month or so until we can get into the spring months. And that had me thinking. Uh, I was thinking about this earlier today. Longer days are here. They're starting to get longer and longer. By February 1st, we gain, compared to today, about a half an hour of daylight. Then by March 1st, we're up to 11 hours and 29 minutes, so another hour and a half from today. And then April 1st, we're up to 12 hours and 32 minutes. So. That's some good news. I thought that was good news. Uh, it, I really like the longer days. I don't like when the sun sets so early. So it's nice to know things are moving in a positive direction there. Uh, here, Otherwise, the weather is so quiet over the next few days. Tonight, the only thing I could tell you is some of you might see a freeze. Graham, Archer City, Mineral Wells will be close to freezing. Uh, a Red River County is the same thing. Sherman 32, Bowie 33, Denton and McKinney. 34 to 35, Dallas and Fort Worth, the urban heat island will stay in the upper 30s, uh, 34 degrees in Terrell and 37 in Greenville. Then as we look at the next few days for highs, tomorrow's gonna be about three to five degrees warmer than it was today. Then we have a big jump on Friday, 72, that's 16 degrees warmer than the normal. Weak front moves in this weekend. If there's gonna be rain this weekend, uh, Dallas, Fort Worth area, 10% coverage. Southeast, Corsicana, uh, Waxahachie, Canton, Athens, 30 to 40, maybe 50% coverage. It's going to be a dramatic cutoff, but areas southeast of the Metroplex should plan on rain Saturday. Sunday, it's a little bit cooler, 60, and then Monday, 66 degrees. Tonight, just cool, 37 degrees with light winds, clear skies tonight, tomorrow, uh, 63. Just another nice day with lots of sunshine. Next 10, there's that little chance of rain on Saturday, 10%. That's all 60 on Sunday back to 66 on Monday. Overall, the next 10 days are warmer than normal. Uh, and, and I said earlier, any cool downs we get like you see this weekend and late next week, not that significant. I mean, 60 on Sunday, next Friday, we're down to 59. Jason. All right.